The spine has a double S curve and naturally has lordotic and kyphotic curves. It is these curves that help give the spine its strength and mobility. As such, the abnormalities that you are likely to observe involve these curves. The common ones to be aware of at the lumbar region are excessive lordosis and a flat back, at the thoracic region a kyphosis and a scoliosis which can occur anywhere on the spine. A lordotic posture is one where there is excessive inward curvature of the lumbar spine and as already mentioned goes hand in hand with an anterior tilt of the pelvis. This posture causes the vertebra to make more contact thus jamming the facet joints of each vertebrae together. A flat back is a posture where there is a loss of curve in the lumbar region and is associated with a posterior pelvic tilt. The result of this posture being that the vertebrae end up being stacked on top of each other, placing more stress on the intervertebral discs. At the thoracic level, an excessive outward curvature is called a kyphosis, which causes a hump or a hunching of the back. The excessive lumbar lordosis, flat back and thoracic kyphosis will all be observed from the lateral view. Coupled with the kyphosis is normally a scapular protraction and sometimes, but not always, an associated medial rotation of the humerus. If the kyphosis is structural, for example it may be the result of osteoarthritis or disease, then the abnormality must be respected. If it is functional and that the kyphosis is due to poor posture, then it can be fixed. This thoracic kyphosis is quite common amongst people who spend long hours hunched over their computer. The muscles that are usually tight in this posture include the pectoralis group, the anterior delt, and the latissimus dorsi, and thus need to be stretched. And the muscles that are weak and thus need to be strengthened are the thoracic extensors, the rhomboids, rotator cuff, and the rear delt. A scoliosis is a lateral deviation of the vertebral column, and this can be seen in a posterior view. A scoliosis can also be classified as being structural or functional. Last but not least are the postural abnormalities of the cervical region. One posture is a forward head posture or a poke neck, so named as it looks as if the person is poking their neck out. Again, this is common amongst people who spend a lot of time at their computer and is also associated with a thoracic kyphosis. When the neck is poked forward, there's a loss of curve and more force is placed on the facet joints of the upper spine. This posture can cause many headaches and also problems with the upper respiratory tract. A lateral tilt is where there is a lateral flexion of the head and neck to the one side. Normally the tilt is compensatory for a problem further down the spine. 